So here's here's how this is used. I, I kind of like to start with examples where this is where this math is used, and let's learn about it. But it's kind of going backwards a little bit today, just so you can get an idea of what composition is about. But here's what it's for, okay? One of the really great things about composition, and this is where you've used it in the past and didn't know it, is you change the dependency of a function, okay? So I'll show you how that works here. Uh, you guys know weather balloons? Put them up in the air and they tell you about the atmosphere and temperature and if it's going to rain and things like that. Let's say that particular weather balloon is being inflated and the balloon's radius in feet is determined by the square root of how long it's been. Okay, so there's a relationship between the radius of the balloon and how long it's been being, how long it's been filled with air. Okay. Express the volume of the balloon as a function of time. Now, what formula do you know that gives the volume of a sphere? You guys remember? You guys look at the chart. Oh, uh, that's flat objects. Oh, I don't look at the chart. Volume of a sphere. Does anybody know it? I know it because I teach grade 10 math. Close. A little pi further squared. away. That's no. <laughs> four pi r squared. So, oh, I, I did the whole question. I thought it was four pi r cubed. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. This is the volume of a of a sphere. Four over three. Four over three pi r cubed. Remember that? Grade ten. Yay! That function is dependent upon what variable? The radius. Right, you can find the volume of the balloon based on the radius of the balloon. But we want a new function, so this is V of R, we want a new function that's based on time. How would you do that? You'd have to incorporate time in there. Yeah, how would you get time inside of this? By using this new technique. By using this new technique. Any ideas? Any, any ideas? Huh? Any ideas? Yeah, put in root t for r. Essentially what you're doing is you're going v open dot r of t. Right? You're taking v and inserting r of t. Right? So you get 4 over 3 pi root t, that's what r is equal to, cubed, which gives you 4 over 3 pi t to the 3 over 2. Should we do it that way? Yeah, sure. You understand how I went from here to here? Power on top, root on the bottom. So you've changed, you've created a new formula for the sphere, or for the volume of a sphere, as long as that sphere is being inflated, right? That's now dependent on time, and not the radius. I mean, it's still dependent on the radius, but this specific formula is dependent on time. Okay, so you can change the dependency of a function, and uh, analyze how that function varies based on this new parameter. Okay. So it'll grow a little bit differently based on the fact that it's on T and not R this time. All right, so how many minutes, uh, after how many minutes will the volume be 4,000 feet cubed? Well, let's figure that out. We've got a new function here, V equals 4 over 3 pi T to the 3 over 2. Do I replace T with three with 4,000 or with V with 4,000? 4, v. v, right, the volume is 4,000. So let's see if we can crash through this algebra. Well, I'm going to divide both sides by 4 over 3 pi to get rid of that. So that cancels all that stuff. Someone want to give me a decimal approximation to that? Make sure this is in brackets and this as well. Nine fifty four point nine. Nine fifty four point nine. Someone verify for me.
9.5, Yeah, okay. So that's equal to t to the power of 3 over 2. How do you undo that? How do you just solve for t now? <laughs> the thing on your calculator. Yeah, there's a few things you can do. Yeah, you can go 3 over 2, and then math, 5, and then 9, and then put in the number, right? Yeah. You could do that. We did do something like this before. What, what, or you could square both sides and then cube root both sides. That's that's really what you're doing here. I'll show you. If you square both sides, so I square this and I square this, right? When I square it, you have two times three over two. That gets rid of the two on the bottom. And then when you cube root it, that gets rid of the cube. So if you want to do it that way, square it, and then cube root it, you do the same thing. Wouldn't you have to... But taking the one... cube root it first, and then square root it? It wouldn't matter. Oh, it wouldn't matter? No. Okay. Right? But the 1.5th root is that, basically. So what is that? 96.97. 96.97? So okay. So about... What's T? Oh, I didn't say what... Is it minutes? I'm pretty sure it's minutes. It says how many minutes will the volume be. Okay, so yeah, it is minutes. So about 97 minutes, an hour and a half.